on the Winnipeg lab, do you think the National Microbiology Lab infectious disease researchers should be allowed to do any collaborations with China at this point? No. Can you explain why? Because we know that uh, in this instance that, uh, there, that our highest placed, most sensitive lab was infiltrated by people who collaborated with the People's Liberation Army who did not reveal any of their ongoing partnerships with the, the regime in Beijing uh, and uh, who transferred materials from our most critical lab containing our most dangerous viruses over to Beijing and to and worked in collaboration with the, the Wuhan lab. So I don't think this is the kind of collaboration we want. We should be collaborating with like minded democracies that we can trust, not those that want to attack our interests. Pierre Pouillet expresses strong opposition to collaboration between Canada's National Microbiological Laboratory, ML, and China due to concerns over national security and potential data leaks. He asserts that the NLA has been compromised by individuals linked to the People's Liberation Army play. This stance emphasizes the need for strict measures to protect national assets and prevent unauthorized access to sensitive information. Poivre's cautionary approach reflects a commitment to safeguarding Canada's interests, particularly regarding data transfer and collaboration with the Wuhan lab. The skepticism towards cooperation with countries posing security threats aligns with democratic principles, prioritizing safety and sovereignty. Public support for collaboration with like-minded democracies highlights a shared commitment to defending democratic values and strengthening alliances with trusted partners.